Hello, I am Toby Huang, Business Development Director at MGI. I'm currently based in Abu Dhabi and overseeing all the commercial activities in the Middle East and Asia Pacific region. MGI Tech, we are one of the main commercial organizations under BGI Group. Uh, our primary focus is to develop and create the tools and technologies to really enable the advancement of life sciences through intelligent innovation. So our company was founded in 2016 and uh, we're headquartered in Shenzhen. And uh, our product portfolio includes uh, uh, multi-omics platforms uh, for genetic sequencing, laboratory automation, as well as medical imaging. Uh, we have a footprint in over 70 countries in the world with over a thousand users worldwide in various areas including life science, healthcare, precision medicine, agriculture, and infectious disease. We established our first office in the region in 2019 uh, within Dubai DMCC and this would essentially enable us to work much closer with our regional clients in the UAE, Saudi Arabia and Qatar. And since then we've been working with a lot of the local research institutions, hospitals, uh, healthcare facilities and private labs. And uh, we think the Middle East is uh, one of the fastest growing markets uh, in terms of healthcare and genomics. And we are dedicated to bringing our technologies to the region to help the people in the GCC live uh, better and healthier lives. So MGI, we have played a very pivotal role in our fight against the COVID epidemic. Um, since the beginning of the pandemic in 2020, uh, we worked with uh, our local partners G42 and BGI Genomics to establish one of the first COVID testing labs in the UAE within a short period of just two weeks. Uh, we leverage our fully automated extraction systems to perform the extraction of the virus nucleic acid along with our liquid handling to prepare the samples for PCR testing. But at the Precision Medicine Summit, we're very excited to showcase our sequencing platforms as well as the liquid handling automation. In addition, we'll be launching our new sequencing chemistry for the pair ND300. This uh, additional relent will enable a lot of new applications, for example, in 16S microbiome sequencing and uh, immune repertoire sequencing. Uh, in, in addition, we'll also be showcasing the pivoting role our sequencing technology has played in the monitoring of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, especially for the new variants, whereby we use our sequencing technologies to determine the entire genomic sequence of the virus to identify new strains, new variants, and track the movement of the viruses as we uh, progress in within the pandemic. One example of the application of our technologies is how we have taken our fully automated COVID testing uh, capabilities and turned that into a mobile testing lab in the form of a storage container or a mobile bus. So we have successfully demonstrated this kind of technology in March uh, last year in Sweden during the World uh, Figure Skating Championships. So as, as I think the region in the Middle East also recovers from the, the pandemic and gets ready to welcome visitors from all over the world to global sporting events such as the Qatar Football World, uh, Football world Cup. Uh, we can also readily leverage these technologies to enable very fast testing for thousands of individuals in a mobile setting. In this current growing healthcare industry, I think genetic sequencing technology will become very pivotal for precision medicine. Uh, it is the very essential tool used for understanding the underlying genetic causes of certain diseases. And by understanding these mutations, we can not only use them to better predict and monitor diseases for prevention, as well as help uh, scientists and clinicians discover new targetable treatments based on these genetic factors. So as we enter this new age of digitalization, I think uh, AI-driven and big data technologies will play a very key role in helping us fully understand and decipher the human genome. So with the existing genetic sequencing platforms uh, established around the world, we're currently generating massive amounts of genetic data. But really it takes a lot of computational heavy work as well as AI-driven technologies to better enable us to develop bioinformatics methods to analyze the data. Uh, from there, not only can we have a full understanding of the genetic basis between individuals and at the population level, but with these massive data sets that are generated at the population scale, we can design very targeted and specific methods for very difficult diseases such as cancer.